I would like to know, where did you meet your husband in the first place? Sa Ateneo. Uh, oh. When I was in college, we had a newly formed scholars organization because Ateneo made the decision na dadamihan nila yung mga financial scholars. Financial scholar financial po scholar ako. Kayo. So may mga financial scholars, pinagsama-sama nila. Mm -hmm. Si uh, my husband, Jong, was a scholar because he graduated uh, from uh, Ateneo de Davao. Tagadavao po siya oh. as valedictorian oh, at Ateneo Davao eh. High School. At binigyan po ng mga tutorial role, yung mga fourth year at fifth year scholars sa mga bagong salta. Uh. Eh hindi ho ako masyado magaling sa mathematics na po. Uh. So siya po, naging tutor ko. At, at naging, naging officer pa po siya noon ng scholars organization. Siya huwag yung nagigitara noon eh, tuwing nagkakaroling. Oh. Eh siyempre, kung nagigitara, di, di ba attractive naman po yung mga nagigitara-gitara. No? <laughs> <laughs> so, siya po ang parang kuya-kuya ko. So, oh. I was in first year, he was in fourth year high school. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, and then? Uh, and then, we hit it off very well. And then, so, uh, after he finished First boyfriend. Oh. First, only. Bo first boyfriend, oh, first and only. Uh -huh. Okay. But he was 14 and you were first year. Umalis na siya. Hanggang eh, fifth year po oh. siya kasi management engineering siya. So, okay. five years pa nun eh. Uh -huh. Management engineering. So, two years naman kami. Mga two years kami nagsama pa sa Ateneo. Then, nagtrabaho na siya. You were only first year college and boyfriend na? <laughs> <laughs> Sus ko. Yeah. And then, when did you get married? Uh, we got married six years later. Six and a half years later, I think. When I was in my fourth year law school. Muna, you finished your economics mm -hmm. in, in Ateneo, then you went to UP, to UP College law. of Law. So you, you had known each other eight years. I October, met him in 1976, no? 1976, October 1976. Okay. And then we got married 1983. Why didn't you wait till you were finished law school? Well, he said, I don't want to wait until you become a lawyer. Mm -mm. Things might change. <laughs> <laughs> and things did change. Okay. <laughs> so so you got married in 1980 and then you know you lived where where did you live? I we mean, lived in a, in the back of my uh, parents uh, rented apartment unit. So uh, there was a small open area. Uh, Here we asked the permission of the owner if we could uh, construct a very small unit. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, it was really really small, uh -huh. and it was constructed at the cost of eleven thousand, if I'm not mistaken, at the time. But it was a private place but for it you. It was a private place. It, of course, it was an attachment of my parents' apartment oh, unit. Oh, and, and then, when did your first child get born? My first child was born in 1986. Uh -uh. My second child was born in 1987. What do you do to relax? Well, these are my two apos. Uh -uh. I have two the... granddaughters uh -uh. from my son. Uh -uh. So uh, that's... Uh, that yeah. is what you do to... Where, where do they do live? That. Do they live near here? No, they, they have their uh, own uh, condo unit. They mm -hmm. rent a condo unit in Ortigas. Uh -uh. So weekends, I see them on weekends. May I ask how much you, your take-home pay is as a Chief Justice? I mean, your salary and your emoluments? Actually... The, the one who knows that exactly would be my husband <laughs> because I, I'm so busy with other things, uh, I let him take care of the finances. He would be in the best position to answer your question. But it would not be, uh, it would be something like 300 something. All in. All in. in all, all, all in. in. Is that something that, you know, do you get to save quite a lot of money? Well, uh, our sal and including the interest from our investment mm -hmm. instruments, would show an increase from 1 million to 2 million a, a year. year. Uh -huh. But my husband also is earning. He is uh -huh. an executive in a company, so he also earns well. Okay. The fact that you are Chief Justice, you know, one of the highest positions in the land, and he is an executive in some company, etc., how does that affect your relationship with each other? He is very strong, actually, mm -hmm. to be able to be uh, the husband of a chief justice. Because oh. in public occasions, usually they don't give any attention to him. Mm -hmm. I get all the attention. He doesn't get, uh, no. yeah. Well, not, but you know, he has no ego problem. He knows the real stuff. He knows what matters. 
have you ever had a temper tantrum in the in the Supreme Court? Because that's to justify their their charges that you know you are mentally disordered. You know, seven years, my life has been an open book. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been I've been scrutinized like a fish in a bowl. No, mm -hmm. I am not the one with a temper tantrum. I'm not the one, okay? So there's there, somebody there are else. There people in the Supreme Court who has <laughs> yeah. temper tantrums. Yes. That doesn't mean that simply because you don't have a temper tantrum that you cannot show your righteous indignation. Are you masung it? I mean, do your, do, your, do your staff think that you are a masung it person? At saka chiflada? Ah, chiflada. Ano, uh, basically, they say I am warm and sweet, but I am strict with work. So when I'm, I'm seeing work that is not excellent, oh boy, I make them go over that again and again. I say, no, no, this will not pass. Return, this will not pass. Of course, some people uh, will get uh, a bit shocked, no? By, bakit pinapaulit ng pinapaulit? Nobody has made any, issued any statement in defense of the Chief Justice. I haven't heard of any member of the court saying anything in defense of the head. And to me, I find that strange. All right, what about your social life? I deliberately try to avoid uh, yung sabi kong uh, interconnectedness uh -oh. because one of the seven principles that I shared with G uh, GMA7, I think GMA7 mm -hmm. carried that seven principles that I live by mm -hmm. when I was being interviewed for the chief justiceship, no? is to put myself in a situation where I have less occasions to declare that I have a conflict of interest. And those occasions will arise kung madami ako masyadong kaibigan sa rotary inner wheel lions. Sasama ba ako dyan? Eh di, alam mo naman yung mga yan, maraming negosyo. Eh di, maraming occasions ako mag-i-inhibit. So I say no po. Kung pwede po, intindihin na lang ho, maari lang, ayaw ko pong masyadong nag inhibit sa kaso. So, so what do you do? I mean, you know, so you go to the court, you come back, what what time do you start your court? Uh, I uh, am there by 9. Uh -huh. Okay. Pag uh, Monday, mas maaga. Kasi mm -hmm. may uh, ano kami, flag ceremony. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially during the first few years, halos talagang minsan natutulog ako overnight nung sa... Ang daming backlog eh, lalo na administratively. Uh -huh. And then ngayon medyo even na. Uh -huh. I have reached the point na medyo even ang uh -huh. workload. So, uh -huh. mga 6, 7, tapos na ako sa trabaho. You have not made any new friends new friends in the sense that uh, yes these are friends i've accumulated because of my work mm -hmm. or i'm 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 getting because of my work mm -hmm. yes but uh, there's nothing like old friends no oh, okay. but i what i have right now and this is so encouraging are people who believe so much in the reform programs mm -hmm. that are happening and they want to give me all the support they can. That's very encouraging. You've got 15 years to go. Oh, no, no, I, uh, How old 18 you? years. Oh. My entire term would be 18 years. Oh, oh. We've run uh, five. five. So you've got 13 so years I have 13 to go. more. Oh, oh. 13 more, actually less than 13. And you are quite sure that that 13 is going to be written in stone. Because, <laughs> I, no, I mean to say, you feel that the charges against you have absolutely no basis so uh, le let me uh, describe my attitude to all of this uh -uh. these proceedings does not prevent me from continuing to plan mm -mm. the next uh, 12 years and uh, nine months uh -uh. that uh, must still be served and uh, that means that uh, there is still a very big chance that the reforms will move forward but mr. Duterte will appoint 11 more or will appoint totally 11 justices to the Supreme Court. How will that affect your uh, administration or your, your court, the I quality of your court? I have to work under any situation, mm -hmm. work to the best of my ability with all wisdom mm -hmm. and uh, regardless of the odds that are against me because I, I should not be counting the odds of uh, being able to effect reform regardless of the uh, odds i have to kailangan kong pagpatuloy ang trabaho